Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a question that many developers transitioning from Junit 4 to Junit 5 are asking. Our viewer wants to know, what is the equivalent of external resource and temporary folder in Junit 5? As we explore this topic, we'll uncover how Junit Jupyter provides backward compatibility for some Junit 4 rules, making migration smoother for large code bases. But what happens when you're writing new tests? Let's find out. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, I'll be going through your question, answering it, and I'm hoping finding that solution that you're looking for. Guys, remember to say just a little bit crazy, just like me, and work through to that resolution. Now let's continue on. In Junit 5, the equivalents of external resource and temporary folder from Junit 4 are provided through the use of extensions. For managing temporary files and directories, Junit 5 offers the temporary folder extension. This allows you to create temporary files and directories that are automatically deleted after the test. To use the external resource functionality, you can create a custom extension that implements the before each and after each lifecycle methods. In summary, while Junit 5 does not directly support Junit 4 rules, it provides powerful extensions that can replicate their functionality. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. In Junit 5.4, you can use the tempdir annotation to manage temporary directories in your tests. This allows you to easily create and use temporary files. Here's a quick example. You can annotate a method parameter with at tempter to get a temporary directory for your test. Then you can write to a file in that directory. For more details and examples, check out the blog post linked in the description. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. The equivalent of external resource and temporary folder in Junit 5 is still being documented. You can check the ongoing updates in pull request number 660 on GitHub. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. In Junit 5, the equivalent of temporary folder is the at tempdir annotation. For external resource, you can use the at register extension annotation to manage custom resources like mock databases or HTTP connections. Here's an example of using at register extension. You can define a static resource shared across all tests and a non-static resource for individual tests. The My Resource Extension class implements callbacks for setup and teardown. It manages resource initialization and cleanup based on reference counts. You can customize the My Resource extension further 
by wrapping it in an abstract class for cleaner code. But this example keeps it simple. And that's it guys. We've gone through, answered your questions and hopefully found that solution that you're looking for. If we did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And until the next time you need technical help, I hope you have a good one. Hope